Right, here we are. You thinking we've done these? Why are we back in these things? Ah, well. Go, go, go. I've downloaded a skin pack that's not a skin pack. It's a names pack. I'll leave a link in the description below. Yes, it does change the names to real, the real names of the people who raced them at the time. But more importantly, much more importantly, it adds a feature of AC, i.e. Automobilista, to, wow, and it does things like that, it adds this feature to AMS2, one that Riser should have put in, but the modern communities have to step in and do it, and that is Split Range AI. Let me explain. If you're in AC and you're doing a, an AI race, you, you choose the AI level. And what you can do is you can choose a, a split level. You can say, right, I want the AI to be between 80 and 177. And that's what it'll do. You won't get them all at the same AI level. That's what you get on AMS2. You select 100. Everybody's got a hundred skill level. Now with this new mod, and I noticed it on the last mod I did with the F Formula One 93 cars, it assigned individual AI traits and levels depending on who the driver was and the car, obviously. So rather than all driving in a great big drawn out line, because they're all at the same skill level, we've got a field of Schumachers. Everybody's right. equal right. skill level, ever happens. As soon as you put that split in, suddenly the thing comes alive. As you right can side. see, all the battling going on. Hold your line. And it's not just one car against another car. It's groups of cars. You know, as, as one higher AI guy like this guy here gets stuck behind and has to make his way through. Now, the other thing it does is it alters the BOP. Um, you may notice there's a Corvette there running in the pack. Now, that's Thunder Flash GTO packs versus TRC. Is it TRC? Um, their packs. So what this has done is it's adjusted the BOP of the two packs, one from the Flash, one TRC, and, and All right. made it so that they can race Watch together. Line. They're not like left out behind in a little right. group behind Watch the rest line. of the cars. Play right. And I've put a few in now just looking and it, they are in there. It has sorted it out. It's, basically put another competitor in the race so I will leave, leave a link uh, this mod covers all the packs that Fred's done all the Thunder Flash packs and stuff like this where you've got a Thunder Flash pack that it's the same class as the Audi and the, Co and the, the Chevette um, so it's just the BOP on them so you can race together more fairly and have a better race I'm sure a lot of you already know about this I'm new, I'm, I'm new to this party um, but if you're not go get them because it just adds a layer to the AI as you can see here it's just, it's just uh, you're missing out you're missing out you really are it's the F40 gets it completely wrong on the grass we're on the inside Hold your line. Oh, so we got the uh, Hold your line. Chevette up there left. fighting left. the Nissan somebody's running away up in the front could be another Audi. Still there. Clear left. 
I set the AI on 100 um, and it was easy to work my way up for the field. I've got to this pack and these are kind of running at my level. My talking level, shall I say. If you look behind us, there's quite a gap to the other cars because they're kind of, they're racing at their skill level. Which may be 95, 90, 80, who knows. So they're all battling themselves back there. These guys here, maybe these are at 100. And the guys who are running away up at the front, maybe at 110. If that makes sense, makes sense to me. I'm probably wrong. That's how it was explained to me. That's how I'm seeing it working. So absolutely dive bomb that group then. Let's have a look what we got. Two more laps. This and one more. Let the Audi stretch its legs. I'll let you enjoy this. It is again like the mod yesterday. This is a game changer. Um, this is that split level AI that you'll see on air on AC that everybody loved being implemented into AMS2. Uh, again, I'm going to have to go down the rabbit hole and found, find out which other ones he's done. Lots, I suspect. Don't know what I was doing there. Don't know what I was thinking. I was going to sp split off to the right to give me the inside line, but I left it way too late. Missed me breaking point because I was right up behind that thing. Car right. Clear right. Porsche's dancing away up to the front group. I'm getting stuck with these guys. Car left. Let's go chase this Porsche down if we possibly can on the last lap. Really squirrelly down there, it's just a four wheel drive just to get it all collected up on the power. So, what do you think? Is it a good idea to have split level AI? Or do you prefer it everybody at the same level? So you're racing one big block of cars personal opinion there are benefits to both I suppose this kind of benefits longer races rather than the sprint stuff because as you can see we've got the faster cars have sprinted away as I've got blocked up with stuff that was around my level trying to get through it and now in a short race there's no way that I'm going to catch any of them Sorry, I'm getting a bit drifty here and I've completely mucked myself. It's the last lap. It doesn't count as a crash. I never hit anything. Other than that virtual wall over there. That was a slight tap. It was tappage, alright? And that's it. So, link in the description below. Um, Go get it downloaded if you haven't already. Go and have a look and tell me how you find it. Because I'm finding it. Perfect. It's added a lot to my game at my level. Okay. Have a good evening. Adios.